Hi team, welcome back to another Wish List Wednesday with yours truly, it's me, Hayley's Help. Today we are going to be discussing wall art and how we can look after our wall art, how we can clean it, what we need to do to keep it looking at its best and I will be showing you a few new pieces of wall art that I have in and around the Haley's Help headquarters. Lots of us have wall art in and around our homes and for very good reason. Not only do we choose to put wall art up because it ties up a whole entire space, so once you've completed a room in your house, adding some wall art on the wall really brings the whole project together. Namaste. It also, for some, can actually be very therapeutic and lift your mood. A neurobiologist at the University College London found that looking at art can trigger a surge in the feel-good hormone dopamine. Okay so before we get into cleaning our wall art let me show you the wall art that I chose for in and around our home. Now it's not going to be to everyone's taste some of you might love it, some of you might loathe it, and that is fine. But all of the stuff that I'm about to show you is from posterlounge.co.uk. And if you are looking to have some wall art within your home, I thoroughly recommend you go and check them out. They have got a huge range of different wall art. So if the stuff that I have doesn't suit your taste, there will surely be something on there that does. So let's head out into the hallway and I will show you the first little section of our wall art. I feel like Tony Hart. So this is the first section of wall art I would like to bring your attention to. You are not in Buckingham Palace anymore. There are no Van Goghs here. I'm sorry to disappoint. However, what we do have is two gorgeous prints that I've put on the wall. So these came as um, prints. I already had the frames, so I didn't need the frames, but these both came as a print and then we just unrolled them and placed them within the frame. And I really, really enjoy them. I think aesthetically in terms of tying in with the theme of the house, those of you that have been here a while will know we're going with kind of black, white and gold. They just work and my advice to anyone looking at any prints or wall art, anything you want in your home, and this is this includes furniture actually, if it doesn't make you happy, don't get it. You want to find something that when you look at it, you smile and you think, I really like that. And that's how I feel with these. Like, I just really like them. Whenever I walk past them, I'm like, oh, hey. They kind of look like this. So this one here reminds me of like, um, almost like a C. Like this fits the C. And then this is like the nice white sand. I don't know why, it just does. So yeah, any art that you are getting, just make sure that it, it triggers an emotion in you so that you know and preferably it be like a happy one where you look at it and you just feel happy so these are the first two they are literally just as you come down the stairs there's my bedroom I get to pass them every morning I enjoy it a great deal let's now head downwards downeth the stairs into the hallway area now this one it was like the 4th of July when I saw this, my face lit up. This is the next piece of wall art. Now this came as like a hole, so it came with the frame. And I utterly adore this. Again, this is from posterlounge.co.uk. And I just think, let me move my feathers they're not actually supposed to be there I thought it looked weird I was a bit like hang on I would not have put them there blocking this picture they're not supposed to be there they go over there Robbie the Rangers obviously moved that okay so this is what it looks like and 
I just adore it. It's a really nice size as well. And they did, I kind of wish I got the other one as well. They did like this, but then it was like a guy in a suit. I just think it's beautiful. When I opened it, I was thrilled with how it looked. I just really, really like it. We've obviously got the um, picture light above it. You can't really see it that great in this light because it's daytime. But at nighttime, it just looks beautiful. I really, really, really love this piece of wall art. Now I have shown you my little collection of wall art. I am going to now press on to what you've all been waiting for. It's the clean. I'm gonna go through with you my top tips when it comes to cleaning wall art. And there is a knack to this. And that is dependent on what type of wall art you have. When it comes to looking after wall art, the main thing that you need to focus on is the dusting. This is gonna be a key component in keeping your wall art looking nice and lasting for a long period of time. So to do this, the best thing to do is use a microfiber duster I am going to be using the JML one. This is one that attracts the dust like a magnet. It traps it in there. Normally I would favour a vacuum cleaner because I just think it's more efficient. But seeing as we are dealing with wall art, it's probably not the best idea to go ahead and start using a vacuum cleaner on your wall art just because it may pull it off the wall. On canvas pictures it can end up tearing them because of the suction power so we are going to err on the side of caution and be using a, a duster today you need to aim to be dusting your wall art at least once a week just go over it with your duster they shouldn't need cleaning as often as they need dusting because they are on your walls especially if they are out of the way of people touching them they shouldn't get very dirty that quickly so the main thing we want to focus on is the dusting but we are also going to be running through some top tips on how to clean our wall art and what is required for different types of wall art now, when it comes to acrylic you don't have to do an awful lot with it. What you want to be aiming to use is two microfiber cloths. One is going to be damp and the other is going to be dry. You can go ahead and use a tiny, tiny, tiny amount of mild dish soap if you so choose to. If you don't feel like they're really dirty or really grubby, then go ahead and you can just use some warm water. That will be absolutely fine. You're gonna go ahead and wipe the acrylic down to begin with, with the damp microfiber cloth. Make sure it's not soaking wet. You only want it slightly damp, so really wring it out. And then, once you've done that, you're gonna go ahead and buff it dry with your dry microfiber cloth. Now, once you've done that, your acrylic picture will be good to go. You can put it back on your wall, or if you're gonna clean it on your wall, then do so, just be really careful that you don't drag it down because I have done this more times than I care to tell you, okay? They've not been put up properly and I'm like having a whale of a time, buffing away at it and I'm like, oh, that's just fallen. Next up, we move on to glass. Now, I tend to, I have got a few pieces that are glass within the house, but I'm trying to wheedle them out because and this only happened the other day actually, I had another one where this happened. I was, I took it down because I was replacing the prints within the glass frame. And as I lowered the frame in, I obviously like let go too early, the whole thing smashed everywhere. And I was like, <sighs> walking on, walking on broken glass. Dun, 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 dun. It was just really annoying and I was literally walking on broken glass. I obviously didn't tread in any of it, but it went everywhere. It was all over the carpet. I had to get the vacuum out, hoover it up. And I was just like, I don't need this in my day-to-day -day life, quite frankly. I just don't need it. So I do prefer the acrylic frames if um, 
you're going to go for a frame because I don't think you can, I personally can't tell anyway, I don't think you can tell that much difference. Sorry, I'm looking over here because these ones are acrylic and I'm like, can you? But you can't, you know, they still look as good to me anyway. So, um, but I guess it's just preference. Some people will obviously prefer a glass frame and if that is you, then cool beans, that is fine. But I just, it's not for me, okay? It's just not for me. However, glass is obviously really easy to clean, which is one of the bonuses to having a glass frame. You can go ahead if you are cleaning glass frames with your wall art within them, go ahead and make up a black tea solution. Hold the milk sister, don't put milk in this, it's just gonna be plain black tea straight up. Let it cool down slightly and once it's cooled down slightly, go ahead and dip a microfiber cloth within the solution. You're gonna wring it out slightly, go ahead and put the solution onto your glass frame. And before it dries with a second microfiber cloth, this one is gonna be clean and totally dry. You're gonna go ahead and buff it dry. The best cloth to use for this particular task, in my opinion, is the Marigold Crystal Clear Cloth. Those of you would have seen me using this on the channel a lot, it's the yellow cloth that works brilliantly on glass mirrors. But if you don't have one of those, then go ahead and use a dry microfiber cloth or even like a cotton t-shirt. I was doing the mirrors the other day and I had an old dress that was about to go to the tip because it was just destroyed. It had bleach all over it. No one wanted it. And I cut a little bit off and I used it to just do a bit of my housework. Oh my goodness. Who knew this tired, bleach stained old dress would bring me so much joy? There was no lint on my mirrors, that it like absorbed every ounce of the wetness that was on them and I was thoroughly impressed and it made me super happy, I'm not gonna lie. So um, yeah, you can go ahead and use like an old cotton t-shirt if you've got one going spare, just cut it up into little pieces. Those are the type of things you wanna be working with when it comes to cleaning your glass frames, which your wall art is securing. Obviously when using the black tea, make sure that you're not getting it onto the art beneath itself because it obviously will stain so this is why I say make sure you wring the cloth out so there's not loads and loads of the solution on it and just be really careful while you're doing it it shouldn't seep in to the glass like around the edges but just be really careful and really mindful when you are using black tea but it does work wonderfully if you want to give that a go. Thanks for joining me today guys. I hope you enjoyed this vlog and you found it helpful. If you did, go ahead and smash the like button. If you are new here and you want some homemaking inspiration, then go ahead and click on the subscribe button and don't forget to click the bell notification. This will notify you next time we upload a brand new shiny clean vlog. I will be back again on Sunday, guys, with our speed clean. So until then, as always, keep it clean.